video, we're going to see a couple of tips and tricks on setting your rotations on your pegs. And we're going to use the rotation tool. And one of the things I'm going to point out right now is when I select these, these pegs that I want to add the pivot to, you'll notice that the, the position of the peg are down here. I, I, I want to use this pivot and bring it up towards the hair. And because it's really kind of time consuming to zoom in and zoom out to grab it and move it up. So one of the things that I like to do is highlight a bunch of the elements and drag them as a group up. And then I can stay nice and close to set the rest of the pivot. So now I can, now that I don't have to zoom out, I can just check that, go to my next peg, move that over. And you can see that by having the network open, I can quickly go from peg to peg and drag the pivot into the position that I, I want it to be in. And I can continue, again, see how I had to zoom out to get to this one. The pupil, I would have to zoom out. But if I highlight all of these eye pegs and drag it up, and then go one at a time, go to my pupil. I can now drag it to the exact position I want. Go to my eye, put it in the exact position I want. The brow, put it in the exact position I want, and so on. Now another thing I can do is I can copy and pa paste information from one element to another. So for instance, if I was to set this pivot and I wanted these two to have the exact same, I simply open it up, open up all of them, and now I can copy that information, control C, control V, control V, control C, control V, control V. And now when I close that down, we can see that all of these are in the same position. And that's basically how I can um, use a rotation tool to set any of the positions. Uh, let's go to my arm. We'll do one more. If I do the lower arm, let's go to the other arm that's closer to us. I can zoom in, drag that down, and again, go, go from one to the other and just simply drag it and move it to where it makes the most sense. If I want to re reuse this one, I open it up and I take that information and I pass it along. And this is something you'll do for every single green box, which are the pegs, on your character. You're going to just find the place that makes the most sense for the body elements to rotate from. So for instance, of course, if I wanted to rotate that body, it would be there. If I wanted to do the entire character, maybe I would put it there. If I was doing the lower body, you just have to use almost common sense where the pivots would go. If I was doing the head, let's just find our head, BB. Of course, we put the pivot where exactly the head would rotate from. Same would go for the neck, and so on and so forth. And this is the reason why I use a rotate tool, because I can very quickly check my work. And that's basically the rotation tool in a nutshell.